let's just kill one lie right now. Okay? Programmers are not nerds. That's an 80s movie thing. You are not just cool, you are gods of code. Okay, so I like to geek out about my motorcycle. 33 kilometers an hour, and I can fold the pedals down or up. This is how to become dot TV. Welcome to How to Become TV. My name's Jace. Here's where we help you pursue the job you want so you can stop dwelling on the job you hate. Now, there's a video online that's really popular that shows a day in the life of a software developer, and it's just a coder banging out code at his desk all day. Turns out, not exactly true. Out in the real world, you will actually spend a minority of your time programming. They spend 25% of the time programming and 75% of the time doing other stuff. Presentations with other people, documenting, and you have to document what you've done. There's a lot of email. Another thing you're probably gonna do is code reviews. You're gonna look at somebody else's program and critique it. That's a regular thing that needs to happen in good quality organizations. They're going to Look at each other's code and see how they can make it better. See if you can find the bugs or the defects in their code. So you don't just write software, but you have to write about your software. API documentation, or whether it's a higher level document saying this is what our design is, an architecture document or a testing document. So actual writing is important. Now for new app developers, your life is going to look a lot different. More and more developers are working independently or within small teams. That's a different picture than a developer who works for a large corporation as part of a large team creating what we've called shrink what we call shrink wrap software. So you know if you're working on Microsoft Flight that's a different experience than working on an app that you're distributing yourself. If you're working alone or with a small team your day is head down knee deep in code. You are writing, debugging, setting up tests, figuring out whether or not something worked, writing, debugging, setting up tests and that's basically how your day goes. Of course as a human being you have two sides to you, the lower self and the higher self. Should I be watching Cersei Lannister in the next Game of Thrones episode or should I be coding my new app? Unless of course Tyrion Lannister is in the next episode, I might have to make an exception for that. Ha <laughs> ha! Tyrion! Did I just say I prefer the imp over the hot queen? So for those of you who are actually serious about a career as a developer, you should know that the four-year degree route isn't necessarily a must-have nowadays. I have some links below to some free professional training. See if you like it. See if you enjoy it. If you do, there are some paid options where you can actually get a lot more in-depth training. Please, in the comments below, tell us if you found those links helpful, and if so, what kind of questions would you like us to ask the next interviews? I will be sure to ask them and credit you for it. Good luck, Code Monkey. What do you want to be when you grow up?